you. Oh God. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, you know what? Uh. All right, y'all. So good morning. Today I am at O'Malveny Park. And we're going to be doing a little bit of wildlife viewing. If you ever visit California, um, Los Angeles specifically, this is um, one place that is actually pretty great. Oh my God, look at that. Um, woodpeckers, hawks, mostly birds, but you will see coyotes here too. So you got to be careful. Anyways, let's go and see what we find. Morning. Fall colors. Oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Oh, honey. Oh, pretty, are you? All right. Oof. All right. So we are headed um, to. It's like a little mini trail. There's a lot of birds there. It's fall, so we're gonna see probably different birds this time. I'm not sure, um, but right here, you're not supposed to pick the fruits, but there are no fruits now. But it's like a little garden. It's really pretty. It's a nature trail. Hold on, a nature trail. Um, and during the um, summer and spring. They have like, oh, they still have some fruit. That's like apple. Is that apple? Let's see. Maybe it's an apple. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, orange. <laughs> it's an orange tree. God, I should have known that. Anyways, um, so no picking of fruit allowed. Y'all don't turn me into the fruit Karen <laughs> like you did the, the, the fishing line Karen. Um, so, yeah. We're here, and I'm um, going to update you guys as we go. All right, so right now I am filming some bluebirds, male and female. You're going to watch the clip. And, um, oh, how cute are these? And I think I do see some warblers. I'm not 100% sure, but there's some on the other tree over there um and again that's what they do they just this place is really great for birding by the way uh that's what they do they hang out feed it's early morning so you're gonna see a lot of them especially in this general region close to the entrance where the garden is you'll see a whole lot of them congregate on trees um kind of pick food earlier i was filming the robin we, you know, when I stepped in here, I saw a robin. And um, I don't really see robins here that much, but it's fall. So that could explain why I'm seeing the robins here today. But yeah, so um, we're going to move forward um, that way. <laughs> see what else we can find. Okay. All right, so we have pushed in a little bit into the park well not a uh, midway into the park and um i found a raven you know raven is one of my favorite it's cold <laughs> so my nose is like <laughs> i am cold anyways um so i'm taking a picture of the raven and we did say some scrub jays but it was gone before um we could you know they're usually very like I don't want to see humans so no picture of that yet but if I do get pictures of that I will let you know but I'm gonna start pushing forward that way 
All right, let's see. Turn it. So this park has um, a little bench area. You can see right here. It's really pretty. It's like somewhere you can bring your family to, have a little picnic, be in nature, and have listen to people and their loud dogs <laughs> disturbing your serenity. Um, but let me do like a little 360. Uh, so a little 360. So that's the picnic area, and they have bathrooms. Look, you know, well taken care of. They close at sunset until sunrise. You can sit here. You can see like a little trail. There's water over there. You know, let's, let's walk towards the water. Ah, trying to lug my camera and hold this as well. This can be hard. I'm not sure if there's still water on this side. We're gonna find out. There used to be during the spring. Yeah, it's kind of dry now. Um, during the spring, there used to be like a little water running this way and this way. Spring and summer, actually. And here you can find a lot of, a lot of hogs. Um, coopers, red tail. But yeah, it's dry. No water. Boo! So, but springtime you see water, a lot of trees. If you're like somebody that's into plants, this is a great place to look at plants, discover plants. There is an app that you can use. Um, if you find like, you know, maybe this tree for instance, or that tree and you wanna know what kind of tree it is, there is an app um, that you can use to identify Whew, sorry, I'm kicking stuff all around here. Identify stuff. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm going to push forward and see what else I can find. So I'm going to do like a little count. <laughs> Raven, Robin, Bluebird, Scrub Jays that we didn't get pictures of. And uh, picnic area, bathrooms. Da da da. And a little rocky area here. You know when people come out here, if you come out here with your kids, there's so many things for them to discover like outdoorsy. Like they can, you know, pretend to rock climb. <laughs> a little tree caught my camera there. And then hiking. Um, let me show you the hiking trail. Well, we're gonna go up the hiking trail. Oof. Carrying all this stuff can be so hard, but there's a little hiking trail right there that you can climb up to. And when you climb up there, you can see the city. Oh, the city. This is Granada Hills. So you can see down Granada Hills from there. All right, let's move. So there are a lot of woodpeckers here. And how do I know this? It's that. If you look at the tree, again, when you're out in, you know, somewhere like this, always a good idea to pay attention. Like, not just pay attention to what you see, pay attention to what you don't see. Look around you, you're gonna find little things. Like, you know, if you look at this, if you look at this um, leaf, for instance, and you look at it carefully, you're gonna find little intricate details about the leaf that, you know, are interesting. Again, the woodpecker where is it they're in this tree right here how do i know i can't see them right now but you see all those little holes in the tree that is the acorn woodpecker and that's what they do they make all those little holes and they put their little um acorns in the tree i'm gonna try and see if i can find some woodpeckers i see them flying around but i'm gonna see if i can film them because they're really really active right now can you hear that that's the acorn woodpecker. I make bad acorn woodpecker sounds. Alright, so that means they're here and they're all around. So sight, sight, sound, feel, touch, you know, those are some things that you can enjoy while you're out here in nature. Um, not just seeing what you see, seeing what you don't see as well. Just kind of paying attention to every little thing. All right, we're gonna 
I'm gonna check out some more of the woodpeckers and then move forward. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness, plate catch up. Ah, oh, is that poop? Oh my goodness. What are we looking at? Look around. Oh, this way. <laughs> oh, quick loop around. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. Are we going up the hill? I don't think so. I'm probably just going to loop around and come back out. There are many trails here. I'm gonna follow this one again. This is called the Picnic Trail. See right there? Ugh. The Picnic Trail. Hold on, I'm gonna drop this real quick. All right, so this is the Picnic Trail. There are many trails here, so if you're somebody that likes to discover things, well, this is a good place to discover things. In the summer, they do have rattlesnakes here. So when you are walking the trail, always kind of be careful. I mean, they won't, they usually stay in the bush or whatnot, but always kind of be careful. Keep your eyes open. Don't just like, walk a trail um, without being aware of your surroundings. It's always smart to be aware of your surroundings, no matter what, even if it's not somewhere where you have wildlife. So they call it the picnic trail, obviously, because, you know, picnic area <laughs> and it has a trail. It's a low elevation trail, uh, you know, pretty it's pretty decent if you're not trying to walk up like a hill because that can be a little tasking so here we go usually on the picnic trail you're not going to see too many birds you will see some hawks maybe up in the trees over here and over here but not too many birds and you will see humans doing what they do best um, and then you see the little tiny birds obviously let's see over there so on the picnic trail you will see not too many birds, but you will see tiny birds, if that makes any sense. Like, not mid-sized birds, you will see a lot of like the little, see right there? Tiny birds and... Um, what else? And squirrels. Oh, little bunnies! The little bunnies. See the little bunnies? You know, they are food for hawks. But look how cute you are! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're not gonna run from me, are you? So I'm gonna keep my distance right here. And I'm gonna... Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, yeah, see, again, you gotta be quick. Like, even with, when you keep your distance, they will, you know, um, they will leave because they don't trust you. You're human, you're big, you're predator in their eyes so all right I'm gonna keep walking this way all right so the bunnies there's a lot of small birds and bunnies in here as you can see here like this is like great hunting ground for a predator because you have a variety right um, but the bunnies stay pretty hidden they'll come out to forage i don't know if you could see that one the sun is all up oh, if it spots me it's gonna run but the sun is all up in my face and um 
But yeah, they're all in this general region, close to the picnic area. And they'll just kind of do their thing, forage low, and the birds doing their thing too. Um, and the, they're pretty fast and they try to stay hidden because again, there are a lot of hawks in this area that will haunt them if they can. All right. Moving forward, I'm gonna go higher up in elevation, leaving the picnic trail. The little teeny birdies. This place actually has more birds than, oh look, a variety of birds than, um, well, I think, than my usual, the Sepulveda Basin. Well, the cool thing about Sepulveda Basin is you see more of the bigger birds, like the herons and the egrets and things like that. But here, you see a lot of smaller birds. I'm gonna put this, set this down and adjust my camera. Oh, lordy. All right, so we have seen bunnies at the picnic trail and now we're going to go up higher through the lookout trail. It does get a little scary, no I'm kidding, <laughs> up here. The lookout trail. Gosh, the sun is. Hold on. Oop. Oh. All right. So, um, this is the lookout trail from the picnic trail. To the lookout trail and the lookout trail goes up the hill higher elevation higher chances of seeing creepy crawlers but nonetheless it's a trail i always prefer when i see other people on the trail i don't like doing these trails by myself if i am alone on the trail i always like you know maybe somebody walked past me <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but I don't want to be the one to find out. <laughs> so, yeah, and there's a lot of like these um, weeds that you got to be super careful because they will stick to your socks and stick to you. It's a short trail. There's another trail towards the entrance. Again, the sun is out, so it's like right in our faces. I'm sorry. <sighs> But um, on the other side, that just goes up into the mountains. And that particular trail is where I saw a coyote. See, people, there, somebody going up that trail. So it's safe because <laughs> nothing happens to him. Nothing's happening to me. All right. These trails are kind of like, uh, I'm not a big fan of narrow trails. Like, Especially when I'm carrying a lot of stuff. But we're gonna do this. When I go through narrow trails, when I have equipment, I tend to wanna go through it really quickly. You're gonna get pricked and prodded. Oh, oh my goodness. And poked. And pray nothing jumps out at you. Okay. Yeah. For the hikers out there, you're probably used to this. Um, but for me, I love hiking, but I'm not like a, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, what bird are you? So <laughs> in case you didn't notice, I am so out of shape and I'm carrying heavy equipment up this trail. So we're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going. 
all right had to do a little quick stop to take a picture oh look it's a scrub jay all right <laughs> so sometimes you're gonna get like really really lucky i just think i just had one of these like lucky moments where a jay just flew out of nowhere with an acorn in its mouth i think it was an acorn we're gonna check later in its mouth and um it was just beautiful everything the everything the sun hit it right again this is the elevation where i am and i'm still going up it's called the lookout trail obviously because it goes all the way up and you can get to the top of it and look out <laughs> but again you got to be so careful of these little these things right here they will prick you and they're not fun so oh lordy and hear me breathe ah! through oh another thing i wanted to mention if you're somebody that's allergic to maybe weeds and stuff like that always know what you're allergic to not allergic to nothing out here but it's always a good thing to know so you don't go touching your body touching things so you will be touching things with your body and start itching you know all sorts all right so loop loop trail lookout trail what should we pick let's do the loop trail just want to show you the view um, from the top of this place. Oh my gosh. So we're at the top of, well, I, at the loop trail. I'm not going to loop or anything. Just want to show you the view. Again, loop means you're probably looking to loop back that way. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you what it looks like from up here. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I mean, this is where you stand and you're like, life is good. <laughs> life is great. Look at that. Imagine you could just sit up here, you know, fresh air and just take it all in have no reason to be sad no reason to be just so bad about anything when you're up here like the state of the world or things that don't please you none of it just be up here away from it all and then do like a little 360 again So we're not going to loop back. I'm going to go up to, through the lookout trail just to show you from up there as well. All right. Look out trail, here we come. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was a scrub jay. Some lot of scrub jays up here today. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Again, it's safe to hike alone here, but it's always better to hike with a friend <sighs> and get to the top and then go back down I'm going all the way to the top well maybe not all the way as far as I can go so I can show you what it looks like oh yeah yeah Okay, see that? 
Okay. Ugh. See those little prickly things? Ugh. All right. So we're at the top. Yay. Look, Mom, we made it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we're at the top. Oh, my goodness. This is the top. <laughs> this is the top of the lookout trail. You can see how out of shape. Look, I do this all the time and I still feel out of shape. Like, I'm going to put this down. And I'll show you guys in a second. All right. Okay. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Catching my breath. So this is the top of the lookout trail. I'm gonna walk around it. We're not gonna go this way for sure. I'm just gonna show you what it's like up here. Nice views. That's the picnic trail down there. You can see it right there. And then the entrance on that side. This is Granada Hills. It's very healy, a lot of mountains. Um, but yeah, say hi to my camera <laughs> that made it all the way up here with me. And you can see people walking the trail down there. It's a pretty sight, you know, surrounded by nature. Um, I think this goes down. Huh, should we? Should we? Should we? Should we discover where that leads us to? I'm curious. All right, let's do it. This is what it looks like. Let's do it. Let me grab my camera. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I don't know. What if it leads us nowhere? I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. I'm kidding. All right. We're gonna figure out where this leads to. It's a trail. Follow the trail. <laughs> That looks like coyote poop. I don't know. Maybe it leads nowhere. Maybe it leads somewhere. We're going to find out together. Never been this far. It looks like it might lead nowhere, actually. What do we do if we see a coyote? We stand our ground, remember? If you have not seen my video about what to do. Oh, God. <gasps> Oh my god, okay, you know what? Uh, lizards, lots of lizards. Ooh, I'm ah, I don't mind lizards, but not if they just kind of crawl on my feet. All right, we're gonna keep going. We're not gonna mind the lizards. I don't mind lizards. I have had an iguana as a pet, which you probably shouldn't have, by the way. But it looks like we're going down. So maybe this leads us down somewhere. I see more. This could be dog poop, coyote poop, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna find out. Um, it looks fresh. But if we see a coyote, we're gonna stand our ground. This doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Or maybe I just don't want it to lead anywhere, you know what? Um, we're gonna turn around. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn around. Not that I don't like lizards, I, I love lizards, but I don't want them crawling on me. So, we're, I don't think this leads beyond that little path right there. I think I've done a good job showing you this place. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we're turning around, okay? All right. Let's go look for some scrub jays on lower elevation. Oh. <laughs> okay. We got this. Oh, please don't crawl out. We got this. I'll walk really quickly. I'll ruffle things a little bit. So they know I'm coming. If they know you're coming, they'll move out of the way. Oh, humans. Or coyote, I don't know. Alright. Going back how we came. 
Oh, lordy. So that way. Again, one last view before we head down. All right. This is probably easier if I wasn't carrying like heavy equipment. So I don't think this is hard. It's just because I'm doing heavy lifting and recording at the same time. So if it's just you, your backpack, your water, you're not gonna be doing all that breathing I'm doing. <laughs> all that, oh, oh, oh no. All right, we got this. Looking good. So, let's see. Oh. Since we have seen all of this, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you want to see me going down, um, I will see you at the bottom of the lookout trail. All right. We're back down from the lookout trail and that is going to be it for this bts um at o'melveny park in granada hills if you're into ecotourism and you want to find out you know a lot of people that come to la they think oh we're gonna go to the usuals um there are other places in like the san fernando valley that you will really enjoy and this is one of them it's called Old Melvin Eats in Granada Hills. And I'm gonna go, oh my God, another scrub jay. I'm gonna go look for scrub jays and enjoy the scenery. And again, I am going to do um, a BTA about this place. So it's gonna be a different video, um, but it's gonna be BTA um, behind the art, just kind of without, you know, me being, trying to multitask with filming and taking pictures and recording self. <laughs> so we're gonna do that later on. All right, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and visit, visit, visit California. It's fun, it's lovely, it's beautiful. We have everything, mountains, valleys, oceans, we have them all. All right, y'all, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye.